<laughs> Sarnia Holiday Flats, Blackpool. Good morning, lovelies. I am here at Sarnia Holiday Flats on Tildesley Road in Blackpool. It's right by the seafront. It's literally just just there. You could throw a stone and hit the promenade. So it's a great location. Um, these holiday flats also do allow pets. It's a £10 charge for your pets, no matter how long you stay. So at the moment there is flat one, flat two and flat seven. Flat one sleeps two, which is the one that we're in now. This one is £65 per night. There is a minimum of two night stays on all of the flats here. Now this one is the cheaper flat because you've got the building site over the road at the moment for the new houses that are getting built. So there is a little bit of noise from that. Flat two is £75 a night and flat seven, which sleeps six people, is £90 a night. They do have a winter offer as well running at the moment, which is from November to March. So if you head across to their Facebook page, you can check out all of the offers. The phone number is 01253 623 961. And if you quote Myers 10, you will get 10% off your booking. And that is by telephone booking or Facebook message only. They are on booking.com and TripAdvisor as well, but you won't get the 10% discount that way. So best to book direct. Anyway. Let's go and have a look round. So, you've got a fire, TV, chest of drawers, your kitchen over here, cooker, microwave, toaster and kettle. All of the flats are no smoking. Or you've even got tea bags in there. Coffee, cups. You've also got a fridge freezer there, cutlery, knives, pans. That looks a nice comfortable bed. It's nice and clean. You've got artwork. Another one there, look. Some flowers and little ornaments there. It's quite a pleasant room. It's nice and tidy. And this is your shower room. I do like the artwork on there. <coughs> Excuse me. This is your shower. You're provided with soap and hand wash there. You've got an ironing board there. So that's the shower room. So yeah. This is flat one. Right, let's go on to the next flat, which will be flat two. They have got building work going on here at the moment. Uh, so you might hear a bit of noise. Two of the flats are getting done up at the moment. Uh, this one is two. Here we go. So the cost of this one is £75 a night. So you've got a kitchen here with a fridge, a cooker, tea and coffee. I like that little fire. Sofa. I do like the little ornaments and pictures that they have around the place. Bed looks comfy. Uh, couldn't resist, you've got to test if they're comfy or not. Yeah, looks good. I could get in and have a nap now, I think. One hour later. Right, so now I've had my nap. Feeling good. <laughs> So you've got all your uh, kitchen stuff in there, look. Microwave, toaster. This will be all your plates, yep. 
so you've got everything you need it's a really good location you've got a TV there you've got some bedside drawers here and some books and a lamp nothing in those um, an ironing board spare duvet and a hoover there some coat hangers oh I like this this house is filled with love and laughter I like that nice flowers there got some shower gel up there look needs a few tiny bits doing on the shower there just round the edge it's not a, a massive major problem and you know I've seen all the workmen upstairs and all the work that they're doing so you know I've said it before in videos that hotels and apartments and stuff must always have lines of jobs to do but as long as they get done that's the important thing isn't it so yeah this is flat two Right, so we're now going to go up to the top flat. It is up a lot of uh, stairs, so I might need a paramedic. <laughs> and do remember that there is work getting done on two of the holiday flats as we speak. Let's go. So this is the hall when you first come in. And let's go up these stairs. So we're here in flat seven. This one sleeps six people, 90 pounds a night. So you come into a, a nice cozy lounge area. Unfortunately, you haven't got the best view, although you kind of have builders. <laughs> yeah, you've got to love a hard grafting man, haven't you? Eh? <laughs> But yeah, um, yeah, this is okay, isn't it? It's comfortable. You've got the TV, you've got the fire, the table. You've got your kitchen area. You don't have a freezer in this one unless it's a, a small one. Yeah, one of the little ones in the top of the fridge. Microwave, cooker, toaster, kettle. You've got everything that you need. Some nice artwork as well. Let's go have a look. First bedroom. Double bed there. I like how they've got the curtains on the wardrobe area. Chest of drawers. Oh, a bit of potpourri. Or potpourri, how do you say it? I like that. Some bunk beds. Some people would care about the roof, some people wouldn't. I'm small, it doesn't really affect me, I wouldn't care about it. But that's the beauty about Blackpool. There's a hotel, a holiday apartment for everyone. Let's have a look at your wardrobe. Yeah. Right. This is the bed little chest of drawers there now for this apartment you do have your own bathroom but it's over here let's just have a look at this one so it's not shared it is yours only and this is it I do like those uh, curtains nice artwork chest of drawers shower 
just needs a little bit of uh, paint or something there, but it's not a major problem, is it? Not a major problem. Oh, I like this lot. Trams. Me and Kaylee were saying the other day we're going to go on the Heritage Tram Tour in the next few weeks. So, yeah. Hello, lovelies. So, time for the summary of Sarnia Holiday Flats. Location is excellent. It's, uh, you know, less than a minute. 30 seconds walk, if that, to the promenade. So that's great. Uh, pets being accepted is another great one. And an even bigger plus point is that you just pay one charge, even if you turn up with two dogs or three. It's still just a £10 charge. And it's not £10 per night either. It's just £10 for your stay. So, <laughs> they've got work going on downstairs. Um, so that's a really good plus point. Um, the other plus point, I think, is the price. So for this one, it's £90 for six people. I think that's that's really, really, really reasonable. That's a good price. And the two-bedroomed, uh, well, the, the, not the two-bedroom, but uh, flat two, which, which sleeps two, is £75 a night. Again, I think that's quite reasonable, especially for the fact that you're right close to Central Pier and the promenade. Um, Winter deal, uh, flat £775, no, I don't know how long that's for, just check, they have got some winter deals running, uh, just check their Facebook page, they are going to post that up today. Um, so yeah, overall I think it's pretty alright, obviously I did point out about the two showers that needed, um, I don't know whether you, do you give it a lick of paint when it's got a little bit of the... Uh, you know the black stuff around the edge i don't know i'll use some mold spray or something other than that it's good it's comfortable it's clean you're provided with everything you need um jobs are good and so another one um for our long list so if you have a hotel or holiday apartment b and b guest house in blackpool and you want me to come and do a video tour of your premises i don't charge there's no charge at all because i keep all of the content i come out i do a main video which i've just done now and then i do reels and tiktoks uh, and i also take photos and then you know i don't just advertise you once i will sporadically sporadically swallow the dictionary <laughs> i will sporadically advertise you throughout the year what i believe is it's businesses helping businesses you help me by inviting me into your premises and then I help you by advertising you. This is how I earn my living. I've been doing this for two and a half years now. I am self-employed um, and it's important to me, you know, to advertise Blackpool, to promote it and to show everybody how great our town is. Yes, we have issues like any other town does, but we've got far more good than we have bad. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, comment and share. And we will see you. We? I will see you next time. Bye, lovelies. Um, I've got to set off in this. Uh.